Hi class, uh, what I want to do in this video is I want to walk you through one of the challenge activities for uh, challenge activity 7.1.3. There's, there's three of them here. I only want to show you the second one here. And then from this problem, you can extrapolate how to do the other two. Okay, so here, here, here's the problem. An airline company is interested in proving. So improving, what that means is they want to increase. Okay, so that tells you right there that um, it's going to be a right tail test. Customer satisfaction rate from the from the seventy two percent current currently claimed. Okay, so only seventy two percent are currently claiming it. Okay, that's fine. So the company sponsored a survey of one hundred and sixty four customers and found that ninety eight customers were satisfied. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Excel here for this. All right, just so you can see. All right, so you'll see here one of the things it asks for is um, the test statistic, and you'll see that I have. Um, the formula for it here. So let me give you the information that, that we're going to start with. Um, they took a sample of 164 people and 98 were satisfied. So our sample size n was 164. That means the percent, the number that were um, satisfied were 98. And so we can find our p hat here. Okay, p hat here is just the 98 were satisfied divided by 164. Okay, so let's just actually set up the hypothesis test here. So we're gonna let P equal the proportion who are satisfied, okay? So the null, we're gonna start with the assumption that it's still the same, that it's still 0.52. And our alternative here is we wanna show that it's, it's, it's gone up, it's increased, okay? So the first thing we have to do is find the test statistic. And this is the formula for our, our test statistic. And it's, uh, it, it's a little bit hard to calculate, um, you know, if you, if you haven't done this before. Um, and it just, you know, with practice, you will get it right. So in Excel, it's equal. It's our p hat minus our p sub zero. So that comes from the null. So that's minus 0 0.52, 0 0.52, divided by the square root sqrt of p naught, so that's 0 0.52, times one minus p naught, one minus 0 0.52, close that parentheses, and then divide by the n here. Well, that was 164. And this is our test statistic. Okay, so it's just following this formula. This formula is also in your in, in, in Zybooks there for you. So it's 1.988. So it says go to uh, two decimal points here. So we're going to go to 1.99 here. All right, so it says what is the p-value? Okay, so to do this, what we're going to use is you're going to use equal norm dot s dot dist, okay? And it's going to ask for the z-score, and then you're going to get one for cumulative. But what this z-score is, is this is the, 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 the probability of less than this value, but it was a right-tailed test. So the p-value correct is going to be one minus this, sorry. So for right tailed tests, you're gonna to have to use one minus the norm dot s dot dist. So my p-value looks like 0 0.023. Okay, does sufficient evidence exist that the customer satisfaction rate is higher than the claim uh, by the company at the significance level of alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Well, yeah, so we're rejecting the null here, right? And so our alternative is that it's, that it's increased so that it's greater than this 0 0.52. So the answer is yes. And you can see we got it all. So I know it's a little bit tricky here for this, but if you use Excel and you know have kept up on the lessons from the last couple sections, um, you know it, it should be pretty straightforward. And as always, I'm here for help.